So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate age in Power Query with one click. Kind of. I, I wish the Power BI team had gone all the way with this function, but I'm going to show you. Um, I have here in Power BI a list of birth dates, so we want to know how old these people are. So if you go here to date, I don't know if you've used this before, but there is something called age in there. So if you click on there, it will also look subtract the birth date to this is basically today's date so today's date minus each which is you know minus each row of the column and then it will give us the um the age in days so this is how old in days those people are how weird is that right <laughs> we don't want that and what what we don't want is to override the column that we already have either so we need to do like this so we need to duplicate this first. I mean, I wish they've gone all the way with this. So here now we have the birth date and then we have the, you know, the how old the person is, the age, in days. So we need to transform that to years. Take this new button, duration, in the total years. So this is giving us the number of years that person is, but it's giving us in decimals. Obviously, it doesn't know that we're talking about eight. So you go here round, and then you round, uh, you round down, right? So you go round, down, and then you have how old that person is. I wish that you could go date, age, and it did all those steps by itself. So it was built in. It is not, but you still can calculate age with click, 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 which is good. Now I wouldn't necessarily. Uh, do it in so many steps actually so if we do it the M way we would go in here add column and then you have to remember all these small functions which not always is very easy to remember but we now have the the cheat sheet right so now we know what functions we need to use so we go up here uh, remove columns we know add custom column and then insert and I would actually do this manually uh, for the reason of not having so many steps just to calculate age. So if we do it like that, it's going to give us again the date, uh, the age in days. If you don't remember the next formula, go here and steal it, <laughs> basically. So you take this, which is the measure, uh, the function, and then we go to our custom one again, and then we do take that into years now and now we're going to round it down so here you have the formula you just copy that and you go up here round down and now we have all three steps in one i wish that when you click h it will do all these things add column calculate the number of days days to years years to round down that would make sense so now we have our age and then we can go here delete until end and now we have our age so power bi team if you're watching this please could you do all those steps when it says date age that's the only thing that would actually make sense i think Either way, you've learned how to calculate age, both with the user interface or just using M, and how to cheat. You know, if you don't know what the formula is, sometimes it is here in Power Query, you don't need to Google it. Just create it and then you can just copy it in your custom function or custom column. So, this is all for today. I'll see you again on the next video. I heard that it's going to be Power Week. Let's see when Microsoft wakes up, if it's on today already or tomorrow. So either way, I will be ready with you with Power Week's videos. So until then, 